Hi, my name is Emmanuel Eleke, Canon Ambassador based in Lagos, Nigeria. Today, I'm going to be giving you tips on shooting in low light. There's a challenge out there which is called the Red Line Challenge from Canon. And I want you all to take these tips and participate in the Red Line Challenge. So many amazing prizes to win. But then, even aside from the prizes, these are tips that you should have in your arsenal so that you can always call on them or use them whenever you are in situations that demand such techniques. So come with me today and I'll show you four tips that you can use to shoot in low light. Right now, uh, I'm shooting in this low light on the street and we're using primarily uh, the light from the stand and the light from the street light as ambient light and we're still able to get some very, very decent exposures. I'm shooting at ISO 2500. Your cameras are good enough to shoot in low light by pushing up the ISO even to its limits without noticeable noise. So tip number one, if you have to shoot in low light, know that you can push your ISO to the limits. The next tip I'm going to give you now is uh, look for interesting light. Use the available light you have. We use the cheap $5 light. We just wound the light around and we shot on the street. So eventually we use the ambient light from the street, which is the street light. We shot in the car. We used a few reflections uh, from, the, from the glass of the car. We shot in tight spaces with perspective, putting some light in the foreground and putting some elements of interest in the background too. So look for elements of interest, look for interesting light and shoot and create magic. So for the top tip, we did something we call light painting. Essentially what I did was open my shutter for about 15 seconds or 13 seconds and we used a simple LED light. Uh, we waved it around the model to form waves of light around the model. In addition to what we did, we just added a little bit of flash to expose the model itself at the end of the exposure. This looked really, really interesting. Just shoot long exposure, paint with light, and you'll get interesting results. So the fourth tip and the final tip I'm going to be giving today is backlighting in low light is really, really interesting. I shot a silhouette using the backlight. Uh, this backlight could be anything from a light from a car or light from a motorcycle. You could essentially use any strong source of light and put it behind the subject. And we wanted to add some more depth and some more interest to the picture. So we've trilled some sand in between the model and the light. So it created interest at the background. So for tip, look for elements of interest and shoot silhouettes. This is a skill to have in your arsenal when you shoot in low light. Thank you.